Hello there. Today, I want to share with you some of my favorite tools that will make assessing students in our middle school math classes so much easier. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five tools for formative and summative assessments. I know that as math teachers, assessing our students can be one of the most difficult things, especially with so many cheating tools out there, right? So today I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite tools to use in the classroom, whether you are distance learning, face-to-face, -face, or doing something in between, these tools can be used for any teaching Okay, however way you're teaching this year or any other year. All of these tools are free, but they do have a paid component if you want to pay for certain tools, but you definitely don't need to. Just so you know, I have no affiliation with any of these tools. I just simply love them. Most of the tools I have personally used myself, but I am recommending these tools because I love them or They've really made a difference in some of the math teachers that are inside of our community. Um, so all of us inside of the pre algebra teachers, math teachers, truly, truly love these tools. So if you're interested in some of my favorite form of formative and sum summative, oh my gosh, I can't say those words, formative and summative assessment tools, keep on watching. All right, let's jump into my very first tool. If you want to, if you're interested in using any one or all of these tools, click on the link above or below in the description, but depending on how you're watching this video, and I have all of these tools written all in one place for you, so it's easy to navigate and easy to get to. All right, let's jump into my first tool. The first three of these tools are all formative assessments, okay? So the first one is quizzes. And personally, quizzes is probably my favorite, favorite tool to use out of all of these tools and definitely out of the formative assessment tools because really one, it's totally individualized. And the other reason why I love it so much is because students can work at their own pace. I really don't believe that math should be a timed thing. I really do not believe that there should be time tests and things like that. And so quizzes does not have that. Like students can work from any device um, and they can work at their own pace. So there's no pressure in like having it click in the answer first, you know, just for the sake of being first. And I just, I love quizzes so much. The second tool that I really like for form formative assessments is Kahoot. I like Kahoot because it really builds engagement in the classroom. There is a timed component to Kahoot and that's why I don't love it, but the, my students love Kahoot and they love playing it. They will play it anytime and want to play anytime. And it's just, it's super, super fun. You can create, there are pre-made quizzes already, or you can make your own quiz. You can assign this for homework. You can do this as a whole class. This is great, especially for like Fridays when you, you know, want to do some, some maybe more fun things during Fridays. It's great. Okay. And the last formative assessment option that I really like is Pear Deck. And as you can see, it pairs, see what I did there? It pairs really great with Google Slides. So if you are a Google Classroom school, Pear Deck is great um, to use. Has templates for exit tickets and bell ringers. And also what I really like is you can add audio, video, and gifts into your presentations. Who doesn't love a good GIF, right? So it just really um, makes your presentations just a little bit more fun, builds that engagement with your students. And, you know, I think anything and everything that we can do right now to build engagement, get our students participating is definitely a bonus. Okay, 
The next item is a summative assessment tool. This is called Go Formative. And what I really like about Go Formative is you can upload your own assessments or you can use uh, their pre-made assessments. And you can see here, you can track growth over time, which is really, really great. Um, and you can provide live feedback. You can see all the things that it integrates with. And it, off, it also offers an auto grading um, option, which is awesome. So you can see here, there's pricing, there is a free version, and there is a paid version. And the last summative, summative, I don't know why that is so hard for me to say. The last summative assessment tool is ClassKick. I don't personally use this, but after speaking to many teachers in my community, um, lots of teachers in my community love ClassKick. And what I have seen just in my research of doing, you know, of this is that it's great because the free version allows you to upload 20 assignments uh, you can see your classes in real time. You can upload video, audio, drawings, things like that. You can personalize lessons. And it just looks like a really, really great option um, to use as sum summative assessments. If you are interested in learning more about one or any of these assessment tools, click the link above or below this video, depending on how you're watching it. And I've included all of these in one place for you. So you can click and just learn more about the ones you want or all of them if you want. Again, I hope you found this video to be helpful because I think we all need a little more help with assessment tools these days. I look forward to hearing what you think. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you think. If you want more resources, more support, more digital and printable resources, come on inside into the Pre-Algebra Teachers Lesson Plan membership. You can get more information about everything that we offer in the link below. See you soon. Bye.